What up, internet? Hey there, camera. Hello, friends. You wanna hold that box up and show the camera what you got? That's right, it's another one of these. It's box number three. This is technically the merch box, um, except we're kind of about a month behind because the first one was so delayed, so. This actually arrived in March though. The end of March, but still. Uh, let's see what's in it. Yeah. Because the description in the back is kind of funny. The customs thing, they always write random things and it says that it has a fig in here. I don't think that's true. Go fig. Let's see what kind of goodies we got in the goodie box. Cut away from your throat. Oh no, there's things. Mm. Yeah, let's not look at this because I feel like it kind of ruins Spoilers. what the things are. Let's see what we got in the old goodie sack. Oh yeah, this goodie sack's full of balls. No typey type. I have no idea what this is, but that guy's awesome. What the? He's a little slime squiggler. He's cute. Oh, I guess he's a Pokemon, because I see a Pikachu on the, on the little sheet. Well, he's an adorable Pokemon I never knew existed. Do you know the weird slime Muppet? And he's got a little like fart coming out of his butt, or is that With a, a face tail? on it, too. Is that a tail or a fart? Comment down so, below. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Oh, you could get a Zyduck or a Mr. Mime, and they all seem to be dancing to music. Yeah. Slime Muppet success. Did they get a good look at the, the weird thing in behind? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, I broke it. Don't bust your bowels. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh, we Whoa, got here. what is it? Oh, guy. He looks slightly familiar. What's that from? It's from an anime. Not a bundesu. Uh, he looks incredibly familiar to me, but I, I can't put my finger on it. He's um, from Hanako-kun uh, Nare Bandesu. Yeah, Hanako's uh, magical ghost toilet lady pond? in the- Toilet pond? Toilet pond? Bathroom, I was about uh. to say. <laughs> um, and this series uh, has Hanako be a boy, which is, ooh, what a twist on a- an old concept of a ghost lady in a bathroom. You got a bo ghost boy in a bathroom hmm. with a lady name. But it looks like his little arms can probably go over the top of a plant. Yeah, he's top heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little... Are they Shibi Inu? What are they called? The little chubby... <laughs> chubby dogs? This sphere is an adorable little puppy. Oh. All the options are all little cheeky That's guys. Tail. Look at that guy. Oh yeah. Whoa. Whoa. That ball <laughs> is already a creature. Yeah. I guess it opens, but uh, it sure looks like it's... Maybe it's full of figs. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is a, it's a steam bun Shiba. So that's what this little guy is. He's supposed to be a little steam pork bun or something. So this does something. It doesn't split down the middle. I'll tell you that much. It doesn't split no. down the middle. The bottom should come off. Oh. Oh, it's, it's a Hanko stamp. stamp with an adorable little thing on it that I'll put on all my important bank notices. Oh, it's like, it's like him with a little strawberry on his head. Yeah. And some Ink heart. sold separately. It's pretty cute. Look at his bum. But in general, look how cute this guy is. You're a fine mother flipper when you move your bum bits. You're weird. Wait, Here. does it push in or no? That was a stamp. Okay. I wondered if it had like ink inside it. It's oh. Weird. Yeah, but it doesn't seem so. It doesn't just start spraying ink <laughs> everywhere. This looks like some sort of Hello Kitty type. Uh... That's cute. Yes. That's one of those My Melody type characters, right? Yeah, I recall giving a coworker socks with this character yeah. all over them as a souvenir. Although I don't know the character's name. Not Hello Kitty. Hello Death Bat. <laughs> Um, it says it's a jewelry case, but I'm pretty sure that's just a lie. <laughs> Here's some of the other options. Where did this come from? Is this the bottom of it? Yeah. Is it like a yeah. stand? Uh, yeah. Other way around. Anyway, Snow globe. Around. We'll put mushroom soup in here. If this video uh, wasn't edited, it would There's be There's ink on his head. I just brushed red ink off its head. There's so there is ink in there. somewhere. Well, there's a giant seam down the middle. He probably opens. No, I, when I touch it, my fingers get red. Or did the ink... Yeah, it works. You just stamp it and it stamps. Oh, crazy. Yeah, as I was uh, uh, trying to say, if we didn't 
edit this video, then uh, it would be the most unbearably unwatchable thing ever because it would be like, you know, how much of this is just me fiddling with tape. And when you say we. Yep. <laughs> we. It works so hard. It's an itty bitty little ink set. Yeah. Like, um. You've got a decorative box. And you remove the lid like so. And you've got brushes and flim flams and little ink stones. And the, uh, I don't know if people are super familiar with this type of little ink thing. Oh, maybe it doesn't come out. Yeah, it does. Um, but the, this thing here is like an a ink dish. stone. And then you like put water in it and you grind up the ink. And it, uh, you can paint with it. What's the gray bit? I don't know. And then you paint with it. But that's pretty cute. Hey, that pretty. was pretty cool. Did you have a favorite? I think, um, even though it's a Pokemon, I like this guy because I don't really know what he is and what he's about and why he's got a tail fart. Yeah. But I like him. What about you? Uh, this thing is adorable. And even mm -hmm. though I'm not. I've never given this anime much of a chance. Um, I am mm -hmm. a fan of that type of like just small character gachapon. That's what I tend to gravitate towards when in Japan. And that was this month's uh, Gacha Crate. What did you think? Got any cool stories about gachapon you want to share with us in the comments below? And uh, which one's your favorite as well? Let us know. Yeah. Like, subscribe, and all that other jazz, and we'll uh, we'll see you next time. Peace out. Take luck. Wow, I'm a ghost.